Hey guys! So in this tutorial we're going to learn how to play a beautiful song by Lana Del Rey called Bel Air. Now I especially like the introduction of this song, it's got a really really good introduction. And yeah, as usual in my tutorials, I'm going to split the song up into sections. I'll play a section in full first and then we'll go back and learn it. So I'm going to start by playing you the introduction. So we're going to begin with the left hand and we start on the notes C, E and G. Now these are the notes to a C major chord and the pattern that we play is C, G, E, G, C, G. So it goes like this and then we repeat that and then we move on to E, G and B. That's E minor and it's exactly the same pattern. Then we go back to C major, back to E minor. Next we play D, F and A, so that's D minor, and again exactly the same pattern. And then we do F, A flat and C, so that's an F minor chord. And that's all there is to the intro for the left hand. So we'll take another look at the left hand once I've finished showing you the right hand. Okay, the right hand begins on an E. We play E, D, C, D, E and repeat that. Then we play G, F sharp, E, F sharp, G again. But the second time around we're going to add a B. So I'll do that again. So we include the B the second time round, and then we go back to playing E, D, C, D, E, back to G, F sharp, E, F sharp, G. So the second time round when we play this, we're not going to include the B, we just hold on this G note. Then we play F, E, D, E, F, repeat that, and then we play a flat, G, F, G, A flat, B flat, A flat, G, A flat. So it goes. So what I'm going to do now is put the left hand and the right hand together very slowly so we can see how they work together. And that's all there is to the introduction. Okay, moving on to the verse. Okay, so in the verse, the left hand is actually very similar to what we played in the introduction. The chord sequences are exactly the same. The only thing that's different is the pattern that we're going to play. So I'll talk you through it. We start on C, G and C. And the pattern that we play is... So it's one, two, three, one... 
Next we play E, B and E and it's exactly the same pattern. And then we go back to C, G, C. And then E, B, E again. Right, next we're going to play D, A and D. Then F, C and F. And then after that, all we do is repeat all of that again. And that's all the left hand plays for the verse. Okay, the right hand is going to start by playing G and C together at the same time. And then we play E and G together. So it goes. Then we play G and B and then G on its own. So I'll count you through that. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Two, three. One, two, three. The rhythm here might be quite complicated, but once I play through with the left hand, it will be much clearer. So we play. And then next we play G and C, E and G, E on its own, and then G and B. So one, two, three. Count you through all of that again. One, two, three. 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 Next, we are going to play F and D five times. Then we play A flat and C five times again. So it's one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Then we play A flat and D, and then finish on G and C. So, one, two, three. Then we play E, G, and B. G and C, E, G and B. Okay, there's quite a lot to that, so I'm going to actually go through it with the left hand now, just so you can see how they work together. Okay, so next, the right hand is going to play C and E. D and F. A and D. So it's... Then we repeat that. But instead of playing A and D, we're now going to play A flat and D. So the first time round we play A and D. The second time round we play A flat and D. So again I'm going to go through that. One more time. Okay, I'm now going to play the chorus. In the chorus, 
chorus, the left hand plays a pattern very similar to what we did in the verse. So in the verses, when we would play this, in the chorus, we're going to miss out the last note and just play this. But if you like to, you can include the last note, but I'm going to miss it out in the chorus. So I'll show you what the left hand is going to play. Again, we're going to start on C, G, C and play this pattern. One, two, three. One, two, three. Next, we play E, B, E and it's the same pattern again. Now we're going to play G minor. So that's G, B flat and D. Same pattern. And then we move to F, A and C. That's F major. So I'll do that all again. Now after that, we play, so we've just played F, A and C. We are going to move to playing F, C and F. So we play this. Then we play A, E and A. We go down to C. G minor. And then finish on the F major. So that's F, A and C. So I'll show the second half again. And that's it for the left hand. The right hand is going to start by playing C, D, E. Then we play E, F, G. Then we play E, F sharp, G, and then G, A, B. I'll do that again. One, two, three, one, two, three. Next we play B flat, A, G, G and B flat together, F and A. And then we start on the F, F, G, A, A, B, C, A, B, C, A, B, C. And then we play G and C. So we've moved from the C to the B flat. And then finish on F and A. So again, I'm going to put the left hand and the right hand together so that you can see the rhythm clearly. And I'll start now. That's the end of the chorus. So after the chorus, I like to go back to the verse and then repeat the chorus and then just finish by playing the introduction again. So yeah, that's the end of my tutorial, guys. I hope you found it useful. And if you did, then make sure you like my video and subscribe.